Okay, so I've kind of reached the point where I've got enough, I've got $50,000 in the bank, I've got enough to expand one of my residential lots out. And I'm going to choose the one on the left, and I'm just going to carry that down further. So basically mimicking the same pattern I did before. I'm going to start off with just taking these down by 8. Okay, so now that I've expanded my residential out there, I'm going to need to match that by also increasing the number of jobs that are needed. So I'm going to start turning around the center bit. We're going to start readjusting it. You can tell the demand right now is for commercial, so I'm just going to take a bit of a gamble and dig that whole block. Sort of my rail connections again. Okay, so I've expanded down to the bottom there, and you can see that. I'm going to put in a. S should be okay for now. I may need to put in a small, you know, freight train station. But we'll see how it goes. Might be like not. Not that I'm sure where it would go. Yeah. Right, so now I put the residential, I've zoned for the jobs. Let's see if I've managed to turn this around. Make sure these demands match. Okay, we're probably not going to have 300 cents, but we'll leave it at 200. High school, 100 more, that's okay. Okay, so now I've seen a decrease in demand for residential. Low wealth, that's because I've managed to delete most of the dirty industry, and I've seen an increase in industry demand because I managed to delete most of it before. Now we need to make sure everything is upheld, just by making sure that the health system is okay and the education system is okay. Because we've changed a lot then. Let's hope we can get our education left behind us so I can go to university. So I'm going to pretty much save that space right in the middle of that. For now, I definitely need to keep expanding my, my industry because I have quite enough jobs for people that have just rushed in.
I said, now I'm going to start putting in some of those gifts that I earned earlier on. House of Worship. It's a nice little building to place in, especially when you have industry and you have commercial zones quite close to, like, sorry, industry and residential. It's a little bit in between because it's not really, the, the ownership of it isn't influenced by the same things that influence residential, such as population and garbage. You know, these things were just built wherever, so... I find Just went off the roof. Okay. So now I've unlocked the graveyard. Okay, so now I've got garbage starting to creep up on me. Probably the best way to deal with this right now is to go build a rubbish dump. Where? Wow, it's going to be somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Because rubbish dumps are pretty bad for land value. I'm in no rush to expand out this way yet. So we'll go. So landfills basically have to be at least 2x2 two two to place, and they're quite expensive to maintain. So if our uh, nice tri tip is build a long straight road out like this, plunk it there, and then as your city expands, you can expand this by just dragging it down rather than him to you zone on a small little square it's gonna be a bit of an issue. And how to put some more power plants. where the game gets the most difficult when it comes to micromanaging everything. All your little, all your middle clinics, and especially when your city starts getting a lot bigger. Now look at this, we're turning about $600 over a, a month, which is quite nice. Every two months we're making a thousand dollars, more than a thousand dollars. You know, we've decreased the demand for dirty industry. It's still some there because we've got new influxes of fresh sims. But it's enough to the point where it's nowhere near as demanding, as dominant as it was before. And it's all about managing education to ensure that high tech industry as we want to go, we we'll follow that path. We want to keep going along that line. Well, the freight trains are going crazy. Now, you probably like looking at this thinking, no one's using the train services yet. Well, if you start building cities next door to this, the bigger we expand out, you'll see they start getting used. and some you might have trouble because for some reason the game calculates it weird, but if you have trains that use get used 140% right on the edge, if you build a train station right next door to it, it doesn't even get used. You'll see what I mean if you build a neighboring city and it's just as big and demanding. But everything is connected and that's really important. This allows your sims to get get to go everywhere. Okay, so I've reached the point now where I have one, two, five, six, eight water towers. Now at this point it becomes more cost effective to have a water pump in. Because that for the same price, if you drop seven water towers, or it costs the same as seven water towers a month, but produces a lot more than seven water towers a month. Okay, so I'm just going to delete my old ones. Now the easiest way to do this is to go into underground view. Check this game on pause before you do it, otherwise you're going to have the 
trouble with you know the mind just going crazy like so this way to do this is just make sure now that you can okay but we have to get back up again now the catch 22 of these is they degrade a lot quicker than your water towers do so don't expect these to be around forever you're gonna have to replace them after now 